Thank you, Karen. I'm now joined by Jared Cuff from Off the Cuff Bitters. And to say I'm excited is an understatement. Welcome, Jared. <laughs> Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm good. I'm excellent. How are you? I'm, I'm as good as I get. Good. Now, please tell us, what, what do we have here? So, uh, we're Ireland's uh, first dedicated bitters maker. Uh, we're based here in the chocolate factory. We're on the ground floor where all the interesting things happen. Um, you know where to find me after the show. Exactly. <laughs> Um, last year for Culture Night, we started working on a new recipe and that's what I have here for us. Fabulous. I'm very, very excited. And tell us, Off The Cuff, where did this start from? So, Off The Cuff was bo born out of a, a, a drinks industry night where I got together with several other people in the industry and just started asking questions about why don't we make anything else that goes into Irish whiskey? Irish whiskey is a great part of the category, but it's only just a very small part of the historical picture. Um, we needed to make more flavors to go with the flavors from here. So what exactly is a, is a bitter that you... So bitters is seasoning. Just like you use salt okay. and pepper for mm -hmm. food, use bitters when you're making drinks. It helps to make the, the flavors pop and come alive. And you primarily add that to whiskey only, is it? Whiskey, gin, tequila, we're, we're not single category specialists. We like to spread the love. And is this then a, a bitter or a whiskey that you've produced? So it's technically neither and it's also both. Okay. Um, <laughs> this, this is the birthplace of where whiskey came from. Aquavite became Ishkabaha, which became whiskey as we know it. Okay. There's a 700 year old recipe that this was dug out of the Red Book of Ossery that was written by the Bishop of Ossery, Richard the Lead Red, who was famous for making whiskey and burning witches. So this is going to be good stuff. It's pretty hot. <laughs> and what kind of flavors do you have here in the front? So in the front, these are our core flavors. We've got the Chocolate Factory, named after its creation sake. Nice, I like uh, it. We've got a marmalade citrus. Mm. It really, like, that goes with the toasty notes yeah, that uh, uh, are in yeah. Irish whiskey all over. And then uh, aromatic hedgerow. So I'm okay. Australian, you may have not caught that already, mm. but <laughs> Just a little. Um, when I first got here, the, the hedgerows were, were such a quaint idea to me. You know, we just use fences. But okay. over here, it was... It Divided was, uh, by hedges. Exactly. Yeah. But in each of those hedges is a, a, a rich array of, of botanicals and flavors that everybody here takes for granted. But for, for me, sure. it was a completely exotic sight. I like that. So we needed to capture that flavor, put it into a bottle. So that was the aromatic hedgerow. Well, let's give it a go. Let's, let's make I'm some drinks. looking forward to it. Okay, so maybe go through the process then if someone was to purchase these from off the cuff bitters. What exactly is the process that you would recommend? So we have a direct website where everything can be reached. It's uh, offthecuff.info um, uh, forward slash shop. Uh, or it can be gained on the Celtic Whiskey Store, uh, which is based over on Dawson Street, or L Mulligan's Whiskey Store, which is currently only operating as an online store. Um, Worldwide Wines, uh, based down in Kilkenny, which is where this recipe comes from. And it, as of last week, just landed on the ground in the UK, so they can finally get it as well. So. we got to share. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So the color that's coming out of this is so beautiful, yellow, rich, because that's saffron that's flavoring or making that color pop. Out. Yeah, it's very vibrant. Well, when we first started making this, we, we came up with a set of tasting notes, which is pretty simple. It's Christmas cake in a glass. Mm. So when the seasons start to change, going from summer to winter, mm. tonic, Gin and tonic, no longer a summer drink, but aquavitae and tonic, perfect uh, autumn refresher. So that just just on time, yeah, exactly. <laughs> coming coming into the autumn. That was it. So this is it. It's elderflower tonic and aquavitae served with a slice of lemon. Nice and simple. Mm, it smells really nice. There's like, it is a Christmassy cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon -y. Haven't even had a, had a sip yet. <laughs> oh, that's my nice. That's it. I have one of these myself. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Absolutely. We've got a few of these to share around, but... Uh, the gang will be happy with that. <laughs> Christmas cake in a glass, nice and long. But not too heavy. I wouldn't be a huge Christmas cake fan, but this is, it's 
really nice. Tingly, spicy, autumnal, refreshing. Yeah, um, but doesn't necessarily feel like alcohol. It's, de it's definitely alcohol. Maybe I just have a bit of an intolerance. <laughs> After this lockdown, anything sweet. Don't go there, don't go there. So, <laughs> would you then add a bitter perhaps to this? So or is this? Aquavita is enough in its own right, but if you were making a, a gin tonic, then uh, a couple of splashes of marmalade citrus or aromatic hedgerow in there just really brings Lips that gin and tonic drink. into life. Brilliant. Any, any new products on the horizon, secret we've products? Got, we've got lots of things that are under production at the moment. We couldn't talk about Aqua Vitae this time last year. I can't talk about I mean, what's coming next year this year. Who knows, this time next year could be another array of products. We hope so. Well, guys, if you want to check out Off the Cuff, make sure to check out the Chocolate Factory website. And definitely, I definitely can vouch for this to purchase this along with the fabulous elderflower tonic water we're now uh, hearing from our mobile journalists